We got a five book express tier submission back from CGC. And this time it's over 15,000 worth of comic books, two golden age books, as well as three silver age mega keys. I don't know what the grades are, so we're gonna react to it together. And this is gonna be a big, huge unboxing, so stay tuned. Welcome guys to another episode of Comics with Bonix. Today we have another CGC unboxing and today we have one of the higher tiers for CGC submissions. It is an express tier and each of these are roughly about 3000 or so in value. I would say it's a little bit more but at the express tier the maximum is about 3000 so it came out to about two weeks or so from door to door. Um, pretty fast turnaround time for CGC right now for Express tier, but we are going to crack this box open. Been very excited to get these back. Um, two of these books are Golden Age books that you guys are going to be seeing for the first time. I'll go over the story behind those and what I was able to pick up those for as far as price and give you guys a little bit background. The other three you guys have seen in a past video. It is three Silver Age books, large mega keys that I got from a haul uh, in this video. If you guys want to click on that video, it's a uh, three mega key haul that I got a little while back. But all of these came from the same seller. So I'm pretty excited to get them back from CGC and let's go ahead and get it in the box. So let's go ahead and see what the first book is. I didn't get a chance to have my family members cover these grades up. So we're going to actually find out together. So the first book is Avengers number one. Uh, as you guys can see, this is pretty faded copy. Um, I was guessing this would be about a 2.5 because there's quite a few spine ticks and the back has a couple pieces missing. So let's go ahead and find out what we got back. 1.8, okay. Well, I guess this is quite the, took quite the hit because of the fading and it does look like it came back with creamed off white pages as well. Um, yeah, this one's a tough one. Um, I. If I remember correctly, I think I paid about, I don't remember the exact price, but this is probably about a break even for me. I'm not sure what the price of 1.8 is. I'll go ahead and put the FMV up on the screen here, but this was left out in the sun by the seller. If you guys saw the previous video, he sold me these um, both the next Book, and this one was pretty faded and the back looks okay the back wasn't in the sun so you can see the red still pop on there but this one yeah I came back really low compared to what I thought it was gonna be I thought it was like a 2.5 but I, I guess the fading really hurt the grade uh, it's still attached there's a little bit of a spine split right here too but overall great book to have and yeah overall su super nice book to have even as a low grade still an affordable copy so the next one is going to be the other book that suffered the same fate as the avengers one this is daredevil 
number one. This one you can see also very faded on the cover. The reds completely faded on the title as well as on Spider-Man. Barely tell the yellows anymore, but still decent looking for being really faded because a lot of there's a lot of white on this cover, so you can't really tell in the white areas that it's faded. But this one, I also thought it would come back a 2.5. So let's go ahead and find out what it is. 2.0. So about the same as the other one. Um, the gray definitely got hit hard because of the. I think the back on this one there's a lot of like color lift on that one I showed last time uh, somebody left something like a, a wet bowl or something on the comic and picked up all of the back cover there um, this one it is also attached and this one came back off white pages so a little bit better page quality there's also some tracing going on there too like if I'm not sure if you can see but Spider-Man and the also on the title has a little bit of tracing, but still presents pretty nice for a 2.0. First appearance of Daredevil, Matt Murdock, story by Stan Lee and cover by Jack Kirby. All right, so let's go ahead and show this next one. I already knew that this one is was a big hit because it did come back with the purple label. And this is Tales of Suspense, number 39 first appearance of iron man tony stark and this one does not have the same fading that the other two had this one the colors actually show really bright uh, but the let's see it says small amount of color touch and small amount of glue cover reinforced so i didn't even know about the cover reinforced that's a bummer um but let's go ahead and see what it came back. I also put this as a 2.5. So let's go ahead and find out. 2.5. So exactly what I thought. Um, this one, I felt like it was had a chance of going lower because the back has big chunks missing right here. But because I feel like the color wasn't faded on this one, it did get the 2.5 that I was expecting. Uh, slight C1 off white to white pages. Uh, still a really, really good looking Tales of Suspense uh, 39. You don't get the two quotes on there, but one quote only and no blue in the bottom. I know some of um, collectors really like to have their cover show those two features. But um, yeah, this was a bummer. CGC restored label came back the purple label, but still I feel like I'm um, not sure if I'm going to keep this one or not. I might sell this one to look for a universal label, but uh, still a great affordable uh, Tales of Suspense 39 Mega Key for Iron Man. So this next one is a huge Golden Age book. This is one of the most scarcest and the oldest comic book that I now own. It is Superman number three. And this is just an amazing cover, one of the most iconic Superman covers. And this one was released winter of 1940. And you can see the him Superman flying with a baby in his hand, or might be like a child, like a toddler, flying over a locomotive. But let's go ahead and find out what the grade is. I'm hoping it comes back at least a 3.5. There is tape on the spine right on this side here there is a little bit of tape so i'm hoping at least a 3.5 or higher i'm this is this is one of the only this is the only uh golden age book besides the next one that i have so i'm hoping at least a 3.5 what did i get 3.5 oh i'm so happy with that um came back with off white to white pages and this is just an absolute gorgeous book um the colors are absolutely stunning one of the nicest uh copies i've seen i i've seen a couple copies on instagram but uh as far as the colors this one is just stunning uh you can see the reds and the yellows just pop right off the page here's the back cover on this you can see how bright red those colors are right here very, very nice back cover. I don't really see much going on. 
There is a little bit of stain right here in the back cover, but not huge deal. Um, this one I picked up raw. Uh, this one I picked up for about $3,500 cash. So um, I will go ahead and put what the what is estimated to be the fair market value. I looked up the census. I think there's a little over 200 copies total. Only 200 copies of Superman number three in existence graded by CGC. So um, feeling super blessed to have this. This is probably one of the most exciting pickups. The next one is just equally exciting, but um, to have one of the first three issues of Superman from 1940 in my collection, I don't think I'm gonna be selling this, time, this book anytime soon, but uh, just an absolute gem added to the PC. And the last of the five books we have is one of the most exciting books I feel is because um, I'm a big Batman fan and to be able to have a Golden Age Batman book that is one of the first few issues in his solo title, which is Batman number three in a CGC Universal label. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what this book was prior. This book was a CBCS 4.5 and it was uh, off white to white pages. And so what happened is I got this book pressed and cleaned and let's go ahead and show you guys why I'm getting, hopefully it's higher than a 4.5, if not the same, 4.5, there we go. So it stayed the same, I'm, su I'm still super happy. Um, the only downside is it did go down in the, color quality but not a huge deal for this uh golden age batman the first three issues of 1940 fall of 1940 is the release date but to be able to have this book in a 4.5 cgc label um absolutely stunning and here is the back cover here still very very clean same similar to the superman where the the colors are super vibrant yellows and reds pop. And that's one of my favorite features of these books, especially in the golden age where, um, you know, these books are now over 80 years old. So um, this is a black cover also. So you can see a lot of the, um, you can see a lot of the uh, defects, uh, but the presser did a great job on pressing a lot of those uh, bends out. And yeah, this is, uh, one of the, one of my favorite covers when it comes to the, uh, Batman covers. I know the first 11 Batman issues of the solo title have all awesome covers. So who knows? I might, uh, be looking out for some of the other ones to add to my PC as well, but, um, just absolutely gorgeous. There's some color, let's see, uh, tape pull right there, but, um, other than that, not much else that distracts from the cover. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is looking absolutely beautiful next to Superman number three. Such, such good golden age keys. And number three of both Superman and Batman from 1940. Um, you can't really, can't really complain about these books here. Um, yeah, these are, after having these back in my collection, I'm just super happy to have these Golden Age books. And, um, yeah, this one is, yeah, to have something this rare and scarce is such a nice feeling to have because you know that, um, yeah, there's not many out there. A le about a little over 200 left on this book as well. I'll also share what the fair market value of this one is. But this one, I also paid about 3500 So super happy with both of these Golden Age books. Uh, the other ones were a little bit, um, little bit of a letdown with the restored and also the lower grades. But hey, you can't win them all. These were all from the same seller. So being able to pick up all these books at the price I did, um, I think that's still a win. So I um, want to go ahead and thank you guys for uh, checking out this unboxing. 
And if you guys like this type of video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel for future videos like this. And with that, guys, I want to thank you for joining me here at Comics with Monix and want to remind you to enjoy your passion. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.